Good afternoon, elementary schoolers, formerly known as Bible Buddies. I pray all is well with you and your family on today. Today's lesson is very, very simple, um, and it's titled Fear. That fear is something that we experience throughout our whole entire life, from toddlers all the way to adulthood. So I am going to briefly do a demonstration regarding fear. But first, let me give you your memory verse. I hope that you have your pen and paper so you can jot this memory verse down. Our memory verse comes from 1 Timothy, I'm sorry, 2 Timothy 1 and 7, and it reads, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I want you to memorize this memory verse because we're going to discuss it on Wednesday during our Zoom call. So parents, make sure your child is tuned in to our Zoom call on Wednesday. Um, for our uh our brief illustration regarding fear, I have a glass. That glass represents us. Baking soda represents fear and what's poured into our body. The distilled vinegar represents Jesus, the word of God. And this is going to basically show you how to get rid of that fear or help you with that fear. Okay, so remember, the glass represents us and who we are in Christ. The baking soda will represent fear. Um, you can be in fear of many things. Like I said, fear lingers on in your body unless you do something about that fear. And we're gonna discuss that uh, briefly. So fear can represent uh, you're afraid of the dark, you're, af you're afraid of uh, sleeping alone in your room, you're afraid of hurting yourself, and simply you can be afraid of this pandemic, you know, not doing the normal things that you do. You know, you're not returning to school, you're not going to see your friends, you can't play outside, um, you can't touch this, you can't touch that, you can't hug people. So that makes you fearful. Uh, you know, basically, this pandemic makes you fearful. So we're going to see how can we eliminate this fear. So I am pouring fear into the glass. And unless you do something about this fear, it's going to continue to linger on. You can continue to, you know, be stuck in your room continue to mope around, continue to be sad about your fears. Next, I'm going to pour my vinegar. Remember what I said, the vinegar represents Jesus, the word of God. And when you apply the word of God and apply Jesus to your everyday fear, um, he pushes that fear out. So as you can see, I'm pouring the vinegar in. You're applying the word of God daily. You're praying, Lord, help me get rid of this fear. And he pushes it out. Because remember your, your memory verse that I gave you. God has not given you a spirit of fear. And as you can see, we have a little bit of fear in us. But that's okay. Because God said that he'll never leave us nor forsake us. So as you continue to experience fear... He's simply saying, I got you. Just keep reading my word. Keep praying. Keep believing that I will get rid of that fear in your life. And that's it. He pushes that fear out. And in closing, please remember your memory verse. I'm going to give it to you again. It's from 2 Timothy 1 and 7, and it reads, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And we're going to discuss this in reverse on our Zoom call. So parents, please, please make sure your child attends the Zoom call this Wednesday. I'm going to pray for you. Um, whatever, whatever fear that you may be facing on today and whatever fear that you may encounter uh, during the upcoming week, I'm going to pray for you. And remember, you can also apply the word of God to yourself, to, for yourself and pray to God for, that he will conquer your fears. I love you and I pray that you have a good day.